Welcome to Grade 9, Unit 5 Cyber Class, Geometry and Measurement. This is Module 5.1 on Regular Polygons. This educational material was produced by eThanos and your teacher for this course is Jane Goodland. The objectives for this module are to define polygon, to identify concave and convex polygons, to work with interior and exterior angles of polygons, to describe properties of regular polygons, and to work with radius, side length, apothem, area and perimeter of regular polygons. A polygon is a simple, closed, plain figure bounded by three or more line segments. Let's have a look at what this means. This first shape here is not simple because it has two lines crossing over each other, so it's not a polygon. The second figure is not closed because the start point and the end point are not joined up, so that's not a polygon. This third figure has a curved side, whereas a polygon must have straight line segments, so this is not a polygon. And this fourth figure is three-dimensional, whereas a polygon must be formed in the plane, so it must be two-dimensional, so this is not a polygon. Here are some examples of shapes that are polygons. A triangle with three sides, a quadrilateral with four sides, a pentagon with five sides, a hexagon with six sides, a heptagon with seven sides, an octagon with eight sides, a nonagon with nine sides, and a decagon with ten sides. Let's have a look at convex and concave polygons. This is a convex polygon. None of the interior angles are reflex angles. They're either acute or obtuse. This is a concave polygon. At least one of the angles is a reflex angle. A regular polygon is a convex polygon, like this, which is both equiangular and equilateral. Equiangular means that all of its angles are exactly the same size, and equilateral means that all of its sides are exactly the same length. An equilateral triangle has three angles the same size and three sides the same length, so that's regular. A square has all four sides the same length and all four angles equal to 90 degrees, so that's regular. A rhombus has all four sides the same length, so it's equilateral, but it's not equiangular because adjacent angles are not equal to each other. A rectangle has all four angles equal to 90 degrees, so it's equiangular, but not all of the sides are the same length, so it's not equilateral and it's not a regular polygon. This is an interior angle of a polygon. This is an exterior angle. And this is an exterior angle. An exterior angle is an angle at a vertex of a polygon that is supplementary to the interior angle at that vertex. Supplementary means that the two angles add up to 180, or in other words, they lie on a straight line. Here's a table showing the number of sides, the number of triangles, and the sum of interior angles of different sized polygons. A triangle has three sides, it's made up of one triangle, and the interior angles add up to 180 degrees. A quadrilateral has four sides, it's made up of two triangles, and the sum of the interior angles is equal to one triangle plus a second triangle, so 180 plus 180, which is 360. A pentagon has five sides, it's made up of three triangles, and so the interior angles add up to 180 plus 180 plus 180, which is 540. A hexagon has six sides, it's made up of four triangles, and the sum of the interior angles is four times 180, which is 720. A heptagon has seven sides, it's made up of five triangles, and the sum of the interior angles is 900 degrees. An octagon has eight sides, it's made up of six triangles, and the sum of the interior angles is 1080 degrees. And an n-gon would have n sides, it would have n minus two triangles, and the sum of the interior angles would be n minus two times 180. Examples, find the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a 16-gon. The interior angles add up to n minus 2 times 180, so in this case that's 16 minus 2 times 180, which is 2520 degrees. If the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a convex polygon is 3600 degrees, how many sides does the polygon have? 
In this example, we know that n minus 2 times 180 must be equal to 3600. So if we expand this, 3600 equals 180n minus 360. So 3960 equals 180n, so n equals 22. The polygon has 22 sides. The sum of the exterior angles. If we draw in all the exterior angles of this pentagon and label them A, E, D, C and B, then if we look at the interior angles, this one here is 180 minus A, this is 180 minus B, 180 minus C and 180 minus D and 180 minus E. If we add all of those up, then we get the total sum of the interior angles. And we know that this is equal to n minus 2 times 180. And in this case, n is 5 because it's a pentagon. So if we simplify the left hand side, we get 900 minus a minus b minus c minus d minus e equals 5 minus 2 times 180. So 900 minus a minus b minus c minus d minus e equals 540. So 360 equals a plus b plus c plus d plus e. Or in other words, all of the exterior angles add up to 360 degrees. We can do the same thing with an n-sided shape. So this time 180 minus a plus 180 minus b plus 180 minus c and so on adds up to n minus 2 times 180. So if we simplify the left hand side, this is 180 times n minus a minus b minus c equals 180 times n minus 360. The 180 times n's cancel, so negative a minus b minus c and so on equals negative 360. So a plus b plus c and so on equals 360. The sum of the measures of all the exterior angles of a polygon is 360 degrees, however many sides it has. Regular polygons. Here's a regular pentagon. This angle here is an interior angle. The sum of the interior angles equals n minus 2 times 180. So each individual interior angle equals n minus 2 times 180 divided by 5. In this case, that's 5 minus 2 times 180 over 5, which is 108 degrees. If we mark the centre of the pentagon, and join the centre to each of the vertices, then all of these lines are the same length. This angle here is a central angle, and all of these central angles must be the same size. So the size of one central angle is 360 all the way round, divided by 5, which is 72 degrees. We also know that the exterior angles add up to 360, so one exterior angle is equal to 360 divided by 5, which is 72 degrees. For any regular n-sided polygon, each interior angle of a regular polygon is n minus 2 times 180 over n, each exterior angle of a regular polygon equals 360 over n, each central angle of a regular polygon equals 360 over n. Example, one exterior angle of a regular polygon is 10 degrees. What is the measure of each interior angle? How many sides does the polygon have? The interior and the exterior angles are supplementary, they add up to 180 degrees. So each interior angle is 180 minus the exterior angle, so 180 minus 10, which is 170. And the total exterior angles is 360, so one exterior angle is 360 over n, so 10 must be equal to 360 over n, and n must be 36. The polygon has 36 sides. Example, find x, a and b in this diagram. Let's take all the exterior angles of the polygon. That includes this angle here, which is supplementary to 134, so it's 180 minus 134, which is 46 degrees. And it also includes this angle here, which is supplementary to 82, so it's 180 minus 82, which is 98 degrees. Now we can add up all the exterior angles, x plus 2x plus 3x plus 72 plus 46 plus 98, and we know that that equals 360. So 6x plus 216 equals 360. So 6x is 144 and x is 24. a is supplementary to x, so it's 180 minus x, which is 156 degrees, 
and B is supplementary to 2x, so it's 180 minus 2x, which is 132 degrees. Example, A, B, C, D, E is a regular pentagon. A, B, F, G is a square. Find X, which is this angle here. For this one, let's start by finding the interior angle of the pentagon. This is equal to n minus 2 times 180 over n, which in this case is 5 minus 2 times 180 over 5, which is 108 degrees. We also know that this is a square, so this is 90 degrees. So this angle here is equal to 108 minus 90, which is 18 degrees. Now let's have a look at this triangle. In the triangle, this angle here is also the interior angle of a pentagon, so it's 108 degrees. The triangle is isosceles. This side and this side are the same length because it's a regular pentagon, which means that this angle here is equal to this angle here. We know that this black angle is equal to 18 plus x, so this one's also equal to 18 plus x. So 108 plus x plus 18 plus x plus 18 equals 180, because it's the sum of the three angles in a triangle. So 2x plus 144 equals 180. So 2x equals 36, and x equals 18 degrees. Properties of regular polygons. The line of symmetry is the imaginary line where you could fold the image and have both halves match exactly. For a triangle, we could have a line here, a line here, and a line here, so there are three lines of symmetry. For a square, we've got one, two, three, four. There are four lines of symmetry. For a hexagon, there are one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six lines of symmetry. A regular n-sided polygon always has n lines of symmetry. Start with a circle. Let's try and turn this into a hexagon. A hexagon has six sides, so if we take the 360 degrees at the centre and divide it by six, we get 60 degrees, and we should divide the circle into sections like this that are 60 degrees each. Now if we draw in some tangents around the edge of the circle, we can see that where they join up forms the shape of a hexagon. Also, if we join together these vertices, we can get a different hexagon inside the circle. So we have a hexagon round the outside of the circle and a hexagon on the inside of the circle. A circle is inscribed in or circumscribed about a regular hexagon. A circle can be inscribed in or circumscribed about any regular polygon. Find the perimeter of a regular polygon inscribed within a circle of radius r. For the diagram, we'll draw a pentagon, this red shape here, inscribed within a circle. The radius is r, we can draw in this angle, and we can draw in this line here which is called the apothem, which joins the centre to the midpoint of the side AB. To find the perimeter, we're going to need to find the length of each of the sides. So let's draw in this angle here, and work with this smaller triangle here. If we call the angle theta, then sine of theta is the opposite over the hypotenuse, which is dA over r. So dA, this side here, is equal to r sine theta. So the side of the pentagon, AB, is 2R sine theta. So we need to work out what theta is. Well, the black angle here is the central angle, AOB, and the measure of this angle is 360 over N. Triangle AOD, this one here, is congruent to triangle BOD by the HL congruence theorem. This is because they're both right-angled triangles, they have the same hypotenuse, R, and they share this side here. So theta, which is angle AOD, is 180 over N, because it's half of this angle here. So the side, which was 2R sine theta, is equal to 2R sine 180 over N, and the perimeter of the pentagon is going to be the side multiplied by the number of sides, which is N. So it's going to be 2 times N times R times sine 180 over N. Find the area of a regular polygon inscribed within a circle of radius R. Label the apothem A and the side length S. Now this time, if we find cos theta, that's the adjacent over the hypotenuse, so that's DO, or A, 
divided by r. So a is r times cos theta. So a is r times cos of 180 over n. Then to find the area of the triangle, we want a half times base times height. So it's a half times do times ab, which is a half times a times s. So the area of the whole polygon is a half as times by n, which is a half times a times sn, which is a half times a times p, because sn is the side length multiplied by the number of sides, so it's the perimeter. So we can say that the area of any regular polygon is equal to a half times a times p, where a is the apothem and p is the perimeter. Let's summarize these formulas. For a regular polygon of n sides, s is 2r sine 180 over n, p is 2nr sine 180 over n, a is r cos 180 over n, and the area is a half times a times p. Where n is the number of sides, r is the radius, a is the apothem, s is the side length, p is the perimeter of the polygon, and a is the area of the polygon. If we take this formula a equals a half times a times p and substitute a equals r cos 180 over n and p is 2nr sine 180 over n, then this simplifies to a equals a half times n times r squared times 2 sine 180 over n cos 180 over n. But sine of a plus b equals 2 sine a cos a, so the area is a half n r squared times sine of 180 over n plus 180 over n. So a is a half n r squared sine 360 over n. Example, find the length of the side, apothem, perimeter and area of a regular hexagon if its radius is 10 centimetres. Here are the formulas for s, p, a and the area. We're working with a hexagon which has six sides. So s is 2 times 10 times sine of 180 over 6, which is 20 times sine 30, which is 10 centimetres. The perimeter is n times s, which is 6 times 10, which is 60 centimetres. The apothem a is 10 times cos of 180 over 6, which is 10 times cos 30, which is 8.66 centimetres. And the area is a half times 8.66 times 60, which is 259.8 centimetres squared. Example, find the radius of an equilateral triangle with perimeter 24 centimetres. The perimeter is 2nr sine 180 over n, and it's an equilateral triangle, so there are three sides. So the perimeter is 24, and it's equal to 2 times 3 times r times sine of 180 over 3. So 24 equals 6 times r times sine 60. So 24 is 6 times r times 0.866. So 24 is 5.196 r, so r is 4.62 centimetres. Example, find the area of the regular polygon shown, where the side length is 10. We need to know what the radius is before we can find the area. So let's work with this. S is 2r sine 180 over n. So 10 is 2r sine 180 over 5. So 10 is 2r sine 36. So r is 10 over 2 times sine 36, which is 8.51 centimetres. Now that we have r, we can find a, which is a half times n r squared times sine of 360 over n, which is a half times 5 times 8.51 squared times sine of 360 over 5, which is a half times 5 times 8.51 squared times sine of 72, which is 172 centimetres squared to the nearest whole number. To summarise, a polygon is a simple closed plane figure bounded by three or more line segments. A convex polygon, each interior angle is less than 180 degrees. A concave polygon, at least one of the interior angles is more than 180 degrees. A regular polygon, a convex polygon which is both equiangular and equilateral. For an n-sided polygon, the sum of the interior angles is s equals n minus 2 times 180. The sum of the exterior angles is 360. For a regular n-sided polygon, each interior angle is n minus 2 times 180 over n. Each exterior angle is 360 over n. There are n lines of symmetry. For a regular polygon with n sides inscribed inside a circle of radius r, the side length s is 2r sine 180 over n, 
the perimeter P is 2NR sine 180 over N. The apothem, which is the distance from the centre to the midpoint of a side, is A equals R cos 180 over N. The area can be written as A equals a half AP and can also be written as A equals a half NR squared sine 360 over N. Review questions part 1. The sum of the interior angles of a regular polygon is 1080 degrees. How many sides are there? How many sides has a regular polygon with each interior angle equal to 144? Pause the video whilst you work them out. Here are the answers. n minus 2 times 180 equals 1080 gives n equals 8, so there are 8 sides. n minus 2 times 180 over n equals 144 gives n equals 10, there are 10 sides. Part 2. The interior angles of a hexagon are in the ratio 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 to 6 to 8. Find the measure of the smallest and the biggest angles. 4. One of the interior angles of a polygon is 100, and each of the other angles is 110. Find the number of sides in the polygon. Pause the video whilst you work them out. Here are the answers. The total is 720, so x plus 2x plus 3x plus 4x plus 6x plus 8x equals 720. So the smallest angle is 30, and the largest angle is 240. For number 4, 100 plus n minus 1 times 110 is equal to n minus 2 times 180, and this gives n equals 5. The polygon has 5 sides. Part 3. Each interior angle of a polygon is 150 degrees. Find the sum of interior angles of a polygon, which has half the number of sides of the given polygon. 6. Is it possible to construct a polygon the sum of whose interior angles is equal to 20 right angles? If yes, find the number of sides of the polygon. Pause the video whilst you work them out. Here are the answers. n minus 2 times 180 over n equals 150 gives that the original shape had 12 sides. If we halve this to get 6 sides, then the sum of the interior angles of the 6-sided shape is 720 degrees. For number 6, yes, the sum is 1800, and this gives us n equals 12, so the polygon has 12 sides. Part 4. The diagram shows a regular six-sided polygon. Work out the value of y. 8. The diagram shows part of a regular polygon with an interior and exterior angle marked. The size of the interior angle is 7 times the size of the exterior angle. How many sides does the polygon have? Pause the video whilst you work them out. Here are the answers. For number 7, 360 divided by 6 is 60 degrees. For number 8, the exterior is x and the interior is 7x. So x plus 7x equals 180 gives us that x equals 22.5. So 360 over n equals 22.5, so n is 16, and there are 16 sides. Part 5. The size of each interior angle of a regular polygon with n size is 140 degrees. Work out the size of each interior angle of a regular polygon with four n sides. 10. The diagram shows a regular pentagon and a regular heptagon. Work out the value of x. Pause the video whilst you work them out. Here are the answers. For number 9, n is 9, so 4n is 36, and each interior angle is 170 degrees. For number 10, the interior angle of the pentagon is 108, the interior angle of a heptagon is 900 over 7, so the value of x is 360 minus 108 minus 900 over 7, which is 123.4 degrees. Part 6. The size of each interior angle of a regular polygon is 11 times the sizes of each exterior angle. Work out the number of sides the polygon has. 12. The diagram shows a regular hexagon. Work out the value of x. Pause the video whilst you work them out. Here are the answers. For number 11, it has 24 sides. For number 12, turn it into a triangle. Then we can see that it's an equilateral triangle, so x is 60 degrees. Part 7. Find the area of a regular octagon with an 11.1 inch apothem and 9 inch side. 14. Find the area of this regular polygon to the nearest tenth if a equals 12 inches. 
Pause the video whilst you work them out. Here are the answers. Here are the formulas. For 13, we can use a equals a half ap, which is a half times 11.1 .1 times 8 times 9, which is 399.6 square inches. For 14, we find the radius first using a equals r cos 180 over 3, so the radius is 24 inches, and then we use that the area is a half n r squared sine 360 over n, which is 748.2 square inches. Part 8. Find the side of a regular polygon if its area is 20 square feet and it has four sides. 16. A dining room table has six sides of equal length. If one side is 28 inches and its apothem is 24.8 inches, then find its area in square inches. 17. The area of a hexagon is A. If the radius is doubled, what is the new area? Pause the video whilst you work them out. Here are the answers. Use the formulae. 15 is the square root of 20 feet. 16 is 2,083.2 square inches. And 17 is 4a square units. Part 9. The area of a regular hexagon is 33 square inches. Find the length of its side rounded to the nearest tenth. 19. A, B, C, D, E is a regular pentagon. A, B, F, G, H, J is a regular hexagon both with side length 12. Find the area enclosed between the hexagon and the pentagon. Pause the video whilst you work them out. Here are the answers. 18, R is equal to the side length, which is 3.6 inches. 19, the hexagon area is 374.12. The pentagon area is 247.75. So the area enclosed is 126.4 square inches. This is the end of module 5.1.